All right, this video is going to be about creating a Plex server on a U on a Ubuntu server. I want to attempt to walk you through setting that up. First things we want to do is we want to go to Plex.tv. And once you are there, you want to click on download. And then down here you want to click on the yellow button that says download. Once it's done downloading, uh, go to your terminal. And we're going to type in sudo dpkg hyphen i for install. And then we want to put out the name of the file. Then it should start installing. Now it's done. Now there's two ways you can get to your Plex server through a browser. One is by using 127.0.0.1 colon 32400 slash web. Or if you're doing it from a, another computer on your network, say your main desktop, you can always go to the IP that your Plex server has, which is typically how I do it. I do it from my desktop because this is going to be a headless system. Now what we want to do here is, um, now that we have Plex installed, we want to make sure where we're storing all of our media. We want to make sure that Plex is able to access it and that we can access it. Because if we don't, then we'll have some issues. So what we're going to do is chow mod it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it with full access. Uh, a 777 access. This will just allow everybody to be able to access those folders. Let's do this. Sudo chalma 777 share Got to make sure everyone has access. <clears throat> no, I don't do the Plex Pass stuff. <clears throat> then it's going to walk you here through a few different steps. Uh, naming your server if you want to identify it differently. And yes, I want to be able to access that from outside my house. And you want to add libraries. First, we're going to add movies. Then we want to click on add folders, browse, browse to wherever it is on your hard drive you're keeping things. Right now I have it on an external until I get some, <clears throat> some hard drives for this new server. Now back to this. We want to find where we're keeping all of our movies and we will select uh, movies and that's a library and if you're like me then you have multiple folders so we're going to add another folder because I keep kids movies separate from the teenage videos and the adult videos I'm going to select kids. 
cartoons. So that's movies, and then we want to go to TV, add folders, back to where we were. Select TV. And the same for music. <clears throat> and then we can click next again. I don't have Flex Pass, so we'll just do basic music. Input from iTunes. No, I don't have iTunes on here. Include in dashboard. Leave everything default here. No. There we go, it's already importing everything. Go into settings over here. I like it to play the theme music. It makes it interesting while going through all the movies. It's already signed in for me, checking for updates. It is not reachable. Okay, this is something I'm going to have to play with my router and everything to figure out. Probably going to do some port forwarding and whatnot. Every time I've ever set up a Plex server, I've always run into this problem. Uh, <clears throat> that's the basic setup for setting up a Plex server. I've seen so much on the internet about how difficult it is, but really it's not. Download the package, install the package, Make sure <clears throat> where you are saving your videos and your music and stuff, make sure that it's open for everybody to edit or make sure that the Plex user that the installer creates has access to those folders at least. Maybe you and Plex. Maybe just those two users, but for me, I just chat mod it 777 to allow anybody because really those folders, I'm going to be sharing them for people to add things to it. So I really don't care as long as the share is password protected to where nobody unauthorized and get to it <clears throat> so I just leave it open